What's up everyone, today we're going to use this CH341A programmer to flash this laptop MXM graphics card. You could also use this guide for laptop motherboards, desktop motherboards, desktop graphics cards, and whatnot. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we have our USB programmer here. This is a 1.8 volt adapter, we'll get into it in a second. And then this is the little clip that you attach to the BIOS chip. Now, if you're flashing a graphics card, if you're flashing Pascal and newer, you need to use the 1.8 volt adapter. However, I'm gonna show you all how to figure out the exact voltage you need just in case you have some special chip or something. So before we get to there, let's go ahead and download the program for this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download this program called as Programmer. All right, so we're gonna download this here. I'll put a link in the description here. I'm just gonna click this. And I probably already have this. Oh, I don't have this yet. Okay. So this is version 212. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And then here we go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is there are drivers here for your programmer. So this is the driver you can install. And then you can click install. I highly recommend to use drivers that came with your device if it did, because these drivers don't seem to work for my specific flasher. I use the ones that came with it, but you can look up online. I'll see if I could put a link in the description to the drivers that I'm using just in case these don't work for you. But this is what you want to do first, but I already have mine installed. So programmer here. So I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to click run anyways. And here we go. So up here, you're going to click hardware and then you're going to click CH341A. And then what I like to do is I like to click this read ID button. So, but before we get to that, let's first go ahead and move over to our graphics card. All right. So the very first thing we want to do before we do any of this is look at the chip. So on most computers, this right here is the BIOS chip. And what we need to do is we need to first figure out what the writing is on there. So you need to get really close up to it to see what it says. All right, so as you can see, we have a windbound chip here. That's the model number. So we're gonna Google this and see what the voltage is. All right, so what we have is, I'm gonna type it in here. We have a windbound two five zero four zero e w n i g okay so this is our chip so right here just from our google search here you see it says 1.8 volts so that means we need the 1.8 volt adapter attached to the programmer before we attach it to the chip otherwise you can fry the chip so Let's go ahead and show you guys what that is. All right, so we're gonna take our programmer and then this little clip has to be in the up position. We're gonna take our 1.8 volt adapter and basically there's only one way this fits. You can only fit it right here like this. And then we're gonna lock it in. So now the adapter is here. And then up here, uh, you see numbers one, four, eight, five. So I'll, on this little clip adapter here, there's like one, two, three, just line them up with the ones here. And then you just lock it up like that. So this is how your adapter should look if you need to flash a 1.8 volt chip. If you need to flash a 3.3 volt chip, then you don't need this little adapter here. You would connect this directly to here. All right, so now before connecting this here, what I like to do, so we have our graphics card here. This is the chip that we need to flash. So you want to attach this clip in a way where this little red line here should match where the, the little dot, so there's a dot here on this chip. So basically you're gonna clip this in, and trust me, this is gonna take several tries. This is not something you get right away. But you're gonna open it up and you're gonna just try and attach it here. And as you can see, it's not staying. My clip's pretty worn out. Um, these clips are pretty cheap. I know we like putting this on the floor and doing it. Yeah, it's not staying. It'll stay eventually. 
but basically you're aligning the gold teeth see it's not staying let me uh let me try this like a thousand times real quick and then come back once we get this on here all right it is now attached so we're going to plug in the programmer into the computer so we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to move this over here and plug it in and of course it fell out so i'm going to repeat that again until we get this on there all right so we have the programmer connected as you can see the clip is in now if you have the if that clip is on in the opposite direction this little red light will dim so if this dims you have it on the opposite direction so that's your cue that the clip is on the wrong way but if it's reading everything and the lights at the same brightness you're good to go so once the programmer is connected you're gonna click this little icon here to read ID if it doesn't show anything like this when it says unknown that tells me that the clip isn't on right so just Check the clip several times, you'll have to do it. All right, once it reads it, you're gonna see this. This is the chip that we found. So we're gonna click Select IC. We're gonna click here, Read IC, and then it's gonna read the memory. Here is our memory right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click Erase IC here. And then we're gonna click Yes. And then once it's erased, we're gonna click read IC again, just to make sure it's erased. Now, when it's erased, it's gonna look, it's gonna have either all zeros or all Fs here. That's how you know it's been erased. So now what you're gonna do is we're gonna get the VBIOS. So for me, I need the Tesla P6 HP VBIOS. And then right here, I'm going to grab this VBIOS and then download it. So here it is. So then what we're going to do is we're going to click open file. We're going to click the file right here and click open. And then now I'm going to go ahead and program IC and then click yes. And then it's going to program the memory. Now, once this is done, you need to make sure you verify it. So we're gonna verify the IC. We're gonna click verify IC. It says verifying memory. And then as you can see, it says done. Now, if there's an error, which I have up here to show you, right here, if there is an error during the verification, then that means that the chip didn't flash properly. Um, so I would do it again. And then the other thing is there's a unprotect button here on some GPUs. For me, I think it was the RTX 3000. You need to click this before you do the read IC unprotect. So if it's not working, try that. But that's it. You have successfully flashed the GPU using a programmer. It's that simple actually. All right, that's it. That's all you have to do to flash something with a programmer. So if you need laptop, desktop, GPUs, motherboards, this is all you have to do. You do have to be a little bit careful when you use the clip onto the chip. It's kind of flimsy. These are obviously cheap um, programmers. I'll put a link in the description to the one I bought. There are some higher end programming devices out there. And there's also high end clips I've already on my second clip. I might actually try a, a different clip. If you guys have any recommendations for clips that are not gonna wear out after like 10 tries, let me know. But with that said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. And don't worry, there'll be a next one. I'm back.